One country has had the opposite problem in recent months, and it brings me to my question. Which country's head of state has not set foot in his homeland in over two months? Saudi Arabia, Cuba, Nigeria, or Syria? Stay tuned and we'll tell you the correct answer. The correct answer to my GPS challenge question is C. After entrusting his presidential powers to his deputy, Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari left for London in May to seek treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Last Sunday, the Nigerian president's Twitter account published the first in a series of photographs of a smiling Buhari holding meetings in Britain's capital. But those are the first official photos of the ailing leader in months. The president's health is a focus of intense speculation back home, and understandably so. As Quartz pointed out, a former Nigerian president died in office in 2010, shortly after taking months of medical leave in Saudi Arabia. His illness triggered a crisis over the transfer of power. Thanks to all of you for being part of my program this week. I will see you next week. People let your girl Adiola. A lot has happened since I went on vacation. First of all, the Nigerian president is still not back. How many months has it been since me? Father, father, you see? I know the man is sick, but seriously, Mr. President, Mr. President, put him on speed dial up. <laughs> you know, do it. Is this the change that Mr. President promised us? Eh? Now the governors are going batch by batch to see the man in London. And I'm asking, Mr. President, you're that for you. Are you the president of London or the president of Nigeria? Missing in action for three months. Father, didn't the man promise that medical tourism would end during his tenure? One light, a light. Oh, God, you lied to us. All I can say is that Mr. President is in good health and uh, he's not in life support and will soon be back. He's not in the hospital. I, I, I was thinking I was going to see him in the hospital. He wasn't even in the hospital, he was at home relaxing. Having a good time. Thank you very much, Mr. Governor Inadua. We've been waiting for you to come and clarify this issue, you know. But of course, those of us that have been praying for Mr. President, we knew the man would be okay. We knew the man would get well. No, but so far, the world, have we not been praying? Eh? Yes, We've been praying and fasting. So, of course, we don't expect anything less than Mr. President to be okay. But, uh, Governor Okolocha, in case you're watching, since the man is doing well, why can't he come back home? When I made inquiry as to why he's still, still waiting, why he's not back home, and all I get as an answer was that he's uh, just taking some vitamins to increase his appetite to, to regain his uh, lost weight where possible. Hey, so he cannot take vitamins in Nigeria? What is this man talking about? Hey, hey, hey. I want to see Kawe, okay? Say, pa, Kawe, I better come back. He's taking vitamins in London. He cannot take vitamins in Nigeria. Put the president, Mr. President, you're welcome. And uh, it's your girl, <laughs> Ben. Um, in case you're watching, let me look at the screen, Mr. President. It is okay for you to come and take your vitamins in Nigeria. Trust me, nothing would happen. Ben, Tese to, Tese London to, ah. And now, uh, why are we parking the presidential jet in London all this month? Abi, are we not paying for the parking? Owo niru, owo niyo, owo wanane. That money would repair the roads in my hometown. I'm telling you. Now, the plane can go and pick up Mr. President when it's ready. No be so. How bad? How bad? Hopefully you would learn something from this Mr. President that it is very urgent for you to build one even if it is just one. You know one good hospital because you cannot be going to London every day. You cannot be going to London every day. I do you know Lance. I'm doing all of this because of you Mr. President. I just want to make sure that you have fast access to Akamo and uh, Kono you know and Furade no no and Wara. The things that will actually make the man feel better so he can feel better quickly. So you understand? Have you seen the food? They are feeding the man in London. The man is suffering in London. Hey, you see, you see, you see, banana, 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 giving a full animal, banana. What an insult! Eh? What an insult! Let the man come to Nigeria where he can have a camo, two and a kono full animal. You see what I'm saying? The things that will actually make him, I want you to start adore it. That will make him feel better. Uh -uh. In fact, they are making the man eat with a fucking knife. How bad? How bad? Let the man come and eat real food. <laughs> anyway, so why Mr. President is taking vitamins in London? Oh, I bet you that me with one song, I bet. Every corner police day. Hey, police day. Every corner, every corner police day.
every corner, police day. Hey, police day. I've been there, think say. I've been there, I've been there, think say. Police, now my friend. But they don't show two days ago. Say there not be anybody. <laughs> yeah. Say you see only seven people wearing, just gather. Oh. They talk waiting. They pepper them. So now take spray, gas. They gas them. They send dogs to attack them. They beat them. Oh. They deny on top more than three hundred. On top of that, now like life alone amount. This thing. Where they happen, you know, go stop oh, because <laughs> all over the world, then they hear up. Yes, and by next week, everybody will be out. I'm telling yes, you, yes, yes. it's either our president to resume yes. or, resign. or resign. Simple, simple. What do we want? Resume or resign. What do we want? Resume or resign. Resume or resign. Our mumu don't do. Our yeah. mumu don't do. The second day of the protest by the campaign group concerned Nigerians led by popular musician Charles Oputa, also known as Charlie Boy. This time around there are just a handful of the protesters demonstrating peacefully under the watchful eyes of the police who outnumbered them. What happens next is an unprovoked attack by the police. Journalists are also prevented from filming during the encounter. Mm. Undeterred, the protesters regroup to state their position, but Charlie Boy slams to the ground. A few hours later, Channel Television caught up with Charlie Boy to narrate his experience. They started to shoot the tear gas and they shot in our direction. You know, usually you want to shoot the tear gas, you shoot it by the side, not towards the people's direction. They started to do that. Meanwhile, there was a, a, a silver bird uh, journalist, and I think from your uh, channel's uh, uh, journalist who was there too, they got really ruffled up. And then all of a sudden a policeman comes in my direction, in my face, to put the butt of his gun here. Because we only 10 people there. I mean, what could 10 people do? And we were sitting on the ground. We did not come there with any, uh, any weapon. What could 10 people do as against about 100, 150 policemen? But this is the kind of impunity, this is the kind of recklessness that happens in the country. And everybody keeps quiet. In a follow-up interview, the police gave their side of the story. Yesterday, the same group of persons were there, and we gave them all the required cover. We were there on ground to protect them to ensure that everything went as expected. And today's phone, the variance is the infiltration of the miscreants who came in and the whole thing was turned that they, they became unruly, therefore distracting other road, other other peace other other other, other peace loving citizens, access to the roads. So we have to come in to ensure that there's no breakdown of law and order. President Buhari left the nation's capital over 90 days ago. These protesters insist they will continue the sit-out session until the president either resumes or resigns. Shabi, this fight is for all of us. If you guys want to kill us here now, we can well, well do so. It's, a, it's an instruction. We don't like what's happening, but it's an instruction. So when they went back again, there was another order. Set, leave, set, go. The yeah. And then they started... But they didn't let the dog loose, or did Yeah, they let one dog loose. Hmm. So when we were trying to relocate to go to another place, one policeman, look at my eyes now. Using the butt of his... Uh, yeah. the, the butt of the gun. Yeah, my own don't do too much. My own don't do too much. Till somebody had to call him to order, one of the officers. Now, let, 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 let's come to the issue that... Uh, because some of these things... I, I will have spoken with uh, uh, the, some uh, the policemen in the past over this, and the police also believe that there's a need to allow people to protest. I wouldn't know why they wouldn't really... 
allow this to go on. We were not protesting. Uh, we were just sitting down to discuss. We were not protesting. If they wanted to the do this, they would have done it yesterday. Yeah, the presidency came up yesterday through Gaba Shell to say they have a, you have a right to protest if you want to protest. The only challenge is that the president, President Muhammad Buhari, complied with the provisions of the constitution by letting uh, the National Assembly know he is going and he properly and dutifully handed over. And that there's no need for agitation and the need uh, for uh, protest. How do you respond to that? Listen, what's killing us in this country, part of what's killing us is our hypocrisy. It's too much. There is a section in the law, I think 114, whatever, that says, yeah, if the president is that incapacitated, they will set up a legal... Yeah, that is the executive A medical team, yeah, yeah to ascertain... The federal executive council. Yeah, are you going to set up that medical team without telling... The president is not uh, a private human being anymore. He's our president. He's answerable to us, for Christ's sake. And what... Oh shit, oh tay, pray them niggas go away Oh we sell the clowns around, it look like Circus Soleil